cat with you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game one. Who we got? Oh, we got Falcon and Zelda. Oh, this is fun. So, Vicky, fun fact, I went out. And I, I went out and I did a bit of uh, a bit of gambling. It's Vegas after all. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls who was at the table was like, yeah, you know, we're familiar with Nintendo and Smash Bros. We love Zelda. And I was like, that's awesome. And I told her she should tune into the tournament because there's a good chance that Zelda might pop up. I'm thinking Ben is going to be the oh. one I'm talking about. And lo and behold, it's the Countess. The Countess. I love that name, too. The Countess. Feels powerful. Yes. I like the option coverage here, too. When you go to Smashville, you know that Phantom's going to be able to swoop you up if you try to hang out on that top platform. And she can just option coverage you, too, by just adding in the extra pressure with the up air. There you go, man. I, honestly, I, I think Zelda's just scary because, like, Everyone just says she's bad. We know she's not bad. So if you lose on stage at a, at a con, you're just like, damn, I'm really that guy who just lost to Zelda. At an anime con, don't yeah. let it be you. But you might not have a choice because this Zelda is actually kind of cooking. I actually I love Zelda in this game especially. Oh, I like the high recovery right there, too, from the Countess when Sting was trying to, I guess, is it Sting? S-T-N-G? Sting? I mean, or S-T-N-G. I mean, I'm, listen, I'm going with Sting. Okay. I, I, you know, I don't know why my eyes were playing tricks on me thinking that, that was a, a, an eye over there. But either way, we know what Captain Falcon could do when you recover low, right below the ledge. So I like the high recovery that we saw earlier from Countess. Mm -hmm. Nobody's lost a stock yet right here, though. And despite that, Sting had taken a lot of that damage early on. And we just playing. We scared. We dodging each other. <laughs> right I'm, I'm going to charge into you and air dodge. I like the options. Very original. And that's all I want to see, baby. That's all I want to see. But Zelda in the lead right now, holding it down. Oh, oh. Twinkle toes, twinkle toes. Okay, she dancing. I like it, what man. The? <laughs> On stage, sparkling for show. Falcon just looking lost, like, oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. But you certainly felt it, my guy. That's tough. I love it there too, because we saw originally that Sting stung STNG. You know, <laughs> he definitely Sting feeling that stung. <laughs> You're a OT. Oh, all right. I mean, could we see actually open up our block with a potential three stock here? It's possible. I mean, Zelda's already proven. Uh-oh, hold on, down tilt, down tilt, not enough, not enough. We're coming back, we got options, coverage, oh. looking for it. I'm wondering why he didn't go for that down air, that up air sneaking through right by the ledge. This is actually fun, like this is kind of like a fill in the blank for the name, Sting, Stung, Strong. <laughs> Chat, you decide. Based off what you're seeing right now, what is this Falcon's true oh, name? Oh, man, if he got that drag down into the up smash though, that would have looked high. Yeah, I think a three stock's coming. I'm just gonna say it. I think so too. I'm calling it right now. Oh, oh, wait oh, for oh, it, oh, wait oh, for oh, it. Oh, 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 he almost jinxed it. Yeah, I did, man. Actually, low key, I'm trying to help him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 great parry. Yeah, great reactive one on that. And let's see, charge it up. This, this dude with the arm, what's his name? What's his canonical name? Do we know? It could be so many things. Okay. It's just like a big suit of armor. Sting. Sting Ray. No, Stang. I was talking about Zelda's oh, toy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stang? What? <laughs> That heck kind of Ebonics coming? <laughs> <laughs> that Miami's coming out, folks. It's coming out. They are literally, there were spaghetti all over Smashville right there. They were, they were still get the JV. Oh, and he's going to do it. Not a single percent delivered in route to that JV two stock. Wonderfully played right there. Don't get hit by up B whenever Zelda recovers challenge, though, because uh, fortunately, STNG, uh, he was getting hit yeah. a lot. Every single time he kept trying to contest by the legend, even when he was contesting, he got scared after he got that spike. I after agree. he got spiked earlier, he stopped trying to go for those downers by the ledge that could clip you. But then he's also putting himself in a position where the Zelda up, he also kept pushing him away. So the Zelda is that I think the Zelda is actually pretty nice, like legitimately good. Uh, good participant in the bracket clearly has put some hours into the character and it definitely showed great display to open up our, uh, our block here Look, and you guys can see this that sea of people just deep I mean this convention center runs deep like low-key from front to back you're probably walking like half a mile oh yeah you know so I mean? when I first walked in here I, I didn't come yesterday uh -huh. I was I was taking a little bit of a of some rest because I just came back from LGS and when I came this morning I was like, it was a blessing in disguise that I didn't go yesterday because the amount of awesome merch that is here. It's nuts. I'm going to go crazy after this block EE. I'm just going to be honest with everybody here. I if tell, you guys are around here, you guys definitely need to make your way out to level up. I tell people all the time, if you come to level up, like, come with a budget because you can legitimately spend, like, two to three hours just, like, shopping and checking out every single piece of merch that is offered. This is their 10th anniversary, so obviously everybody came out to play. Speaking of uh, playing, though, STNG bringing out the Roy this time, retiring mm. that Falcon to decide, you know what? 
you know, you're gonna beat me with a little princess from the past. I'm gonna go ahead and deep back into, dig back into the past as well. Bring out that Roy. <laughs> Just a swinging or getting swung on right now, actually. He, can, uh, he liked the cook. fire from the Falcon, but now he, he wants to try to exert that same type of fire energy here with the Roy. Mm. It's not really working out as well as he expected it to, but yeah. it's the reset, too, that could happen when you make that, that character swap into that second game. But Countess, with these parries, hasn't been able to get the, the punish off of them as well as they may want to, but it's the fact that you are getting these parries and you're able to reset in terms of spacing. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that's really like gonna get you a lot of mileage. It's all about positioning too, but we're actually seeing STNG oh. putting up a fight and look at that. I actually like the fact deciding to be hella aggressive and push their advantage and actually come up with the first stock, but that up air, gonna go ahead and even things up right away. Good punishing opportunity too. When you're just kind of stuck in the air trying to call out the Phantom, that's a great opportunity to just swing through because the Phantom won't have a hitbox out just yet. You still have that startup that Sting was able to get through. Yeah, 100%. Definitely a more even contest. Definitely what we want to see. Making this game, too, a lot more competitive. And again, STNG continuing the pressure. Mm, okay, big. Are you going to hard commit? Let's see. Oh, oh, I was going to say. That was beautiful. And that was it beautiful. resulted in the stock, Vicky. That was beautiful. It's one thing that we know about Countess that we've seen thus far. Off stage, absolutely fearless, making those edge guards. Good timing on there, too. Yep. These edge guards have been something else, whether it be the Falcon or the Roy. I'm just surprised. I mean, I'm just. I'm, I'm actually kind of like <laughs> so taken aback by how that that stock just got left. Oh, oh. Okay. All, I, he he had the opportunity right there too. Yeah, that's why he he actually just back to try to catch him with the up here. He thought about it. This is a lead right now. Nothing too hefty though for Zelda. If you're looking to put on a little bit more percent, obviously we know Roy get that damage accumulated pretty quickly and then shave off those stocks a little quicker than you'd like, but. Appearing to deter Countess at the moment, but a great parry is going to result in us on even footing for this final stock. Yeah, we got the little teleport cancels off of the platform, but now you're taking a lot of that damage. Trading through 72% onto STNG. All right, what you got for me? Set up, looking spicy. I'm out of jumps. I want a jump counter for STNG. <laughs> He's jumping a lot. My man loves the jump, bro. Wait, but this is a good opportunity. 90% used up the ju uh, the juggle jump right there, but Countess makes it back to the ledge. Oh, wow. Okay, that force match actually would have been incredibly scary if it connected. STNG using that fear that Roy could definitely put into you to maybe force a game number three. Countess not looking so sure of themselves right now. Oh, oh gives oh. up an air drive. That should have been a punish. Easy. He was chasing him too. The footstool. Oh. Didn't get the punish off of that landing, and it's very similar to what we saw in the last game when both players are at such high percent, even though Countess still had those two stocks to work with. Yep. The fear is real on both sides right now. I fear who's going to make the move first, STNG. You know, he's oh. likely coming at you with a jump. This man loves the jump. He loves it. He's a jumper. He's jumping. <laughs> he can't stop jumping. Oh, make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, that's a big dash there. Hold on now. Where are you going? Oh, that was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Off of the reaction tech into the up air. Neutral beat in that matchup looked fantastic by the ledge. That really was cool. Like, I like the neutral beat and then the, because that's how he got rid of the second stock, right? So it's like, okay, maybe I could do the same thing, but like immediately realizing, okay, didn't work out that way. Let me put out this up air and that's gonna be enough to get the job done. Really exciting way to open up our block. A Zelda, not named Ven. <laughs> Making an impression at this tournament, you love to see it. It's got the it's got the homeland advantage out yeah, here, okay? Because Ven Ven is that known Zelda yeah. out here in Vegas making Easily. moves, and it's great because the Vegas scene has such amazingly strong they players do. out here. I know MVD great. lives here, Dakpo, I believe as I think well. Sonic's competes out here a lot as well. I know Sonic's in the bracket as well. MVD too, of course. Mm -hmm. Dakpo was in doubles yesterday, so yeah.